What's going on, everyone? Only Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be recapping the New York Giants' victory, uh, the Week Seven win against the Carolina Panthers at home. Uh, it was a convincing win uh, as the Giants blew uh, the Panthers out, 25 to three, the final score. Um, and it was an ugly first half. Um, I mean, it was five three at halftime. So. You know, I think that's that's a that's a that, you know it's, it shows how just by the score how ugly the game was. Giants had a they got a safety on a, an intentional grounding by Darnold in this you know I think the first play of the second quarter um, to make the game three two. Then Gano knocked through a field goal, um, and then well on that field goal drive actually uh, the or I think it was actually before that. Um, in the first quarter, Rudolph had a touchdown uh, overturned. Giants ended up with nothing. Um, but then to, you know, nearing the end of the third quarter, I believe, uh, Dante Pettis got a touchdown. Um, so Jones had his first red zone touchdown, I believe, of the season. Uh, and then Devontae Booker, after a couple of Graham Gano field goals, Devontae Booker kind of closed out the game um, on a 19-yard touchdown draw run. So... Um, it was pretty convincing for the Giants. Defensively, they were very, very good. I thought it was their best defensive game of the year, and it was not even close. I mean, they, San Antonio got benched. Uh, the guy sucks. I mean, he's he, he's brutal. Uh, he threw a brutal interception to uh, James Bradbury. He had just 111 yards. That's what the Giants allowed um, from Sam Darnold. And overall in the passing game, 144 yards on 39 attempts they had six total sacks uh peppers had one dexter lawrence had one leo had a sack and a half and aziz ojalari had two and a half sacks so just based off the stats you can clearly see that the giants pass rush was back um they really dominated um they had three sacks on each quarterback um so <laughs> I mean, they were really good. They, I, I said in the pregame video they were going to have to limit DJ Moore. I mean, he he had under the amount of average receiving yards he has had for the season, but 73 yards, I mean, it could be better, but they limited everyone else, which is important. Um, Chubba Hubbard had an average of 2.3 yards per carry, which is terrific. The run defense was there. The D-line showed up. And really, it's the second straight week that they've showed up. They were really good last week. I thought out of everything, they were the best part. Um, of, of that difficult game last week. So I thought that that was definitely there. Um, as, as well as this, the, the secondary and coverage, they were pretty good. Um, like I said, Bradbury had the interception. Um, but that's that for the defense. Hopefully they're able to keep that up against the Chiefs next week. It's going to be really hard. Patrick Mahomes seems to be banged up. Um, but overall, very, very good and encouraging signs from this New York Giants defense. Hopefully they are able to get back on track um and i think a lot of it has to do honestly with t today their motivation potentially because matt rule um went for it on the fourth and one play and i think that that was really a shot uh you know a really punch in the gut being basically they, they took it as matt rule thinks they suck and they might view it as disrespect and that may have gotten them going as for the offense starting off with the offensive line i mean this unit is just brutal and it has been Terrible. The players on the line aren't good, um, and it's something that the New York Giants have had to overcome all season. Daniel Jones has had to overcome that all year, um, but he was only sacked twice. And give Jason Garrett credit; he did a great job um, with his play calling to get Daniel Jones out of the pocket early in the play, um, because Daniel Jones is very effective with his legs, um, so he was able to roll him out of the pocket so he had a little bit more time that was effective and both of daniel jones's sacks came in the pocket so um i thought jason garrett did a really good job with that i, I thought you know I, I really liked the amount of rpos jason garrett ran i thought that was good and i think that's very beneficial to daniel jones's game and then dante he had a little trick play pettis threw a 16 yard pass to jones who made a unbelievable catch he did his best odell beckham impression um, very good play there by Jones. 
Um, but in the passing game, Slayton was good. He had 63 yards on five catches. Ingram had six catches for 44 yards. I talked about him in the pregame video, how the Giants, I thought he was going to get more involved. Pettis had a touchdown pass uh, as well as a nice, you know, um, completion. Um, but Pettis was, uh, he had five catches for 39 yards. John Ross had two catches for 27 yards. So it was good to see the Giants, um, you know, Daniel Jones, I mean, he, he really is, is, is a terrific, um, he, he's a terrific athlete. I mean, the guy is tough as nails. He's who you want on your team. And, I mean, he's been able to carry the Giants this year, and I really, really like what I'm seeing from Daniel Jones. And he's one of those guys who I think and I hope is going to be a New York Giant for a long, long time. Uh, but he has looked terrific, um, you know, this season. Um, he didn't have an interception. He just had the one touchdown pass um, overall in the game. Uh, for Jones, he was 23 for 33 for 203 yards with a passer rating of 95.9. So Jones had a good day. Um, but that's all I got in this video, guys. The New York Giants moved to 2-5, and five and they dropped the Panthers to 3-4. and four. Um, Jones had a big day. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts on this 25-3 to a blowout win for the New York Giants. I think it's going to be a big win that hopefully gets us back on track. And I'm excited to watch the Giants moving forward. But you guys leave a comment down below as well as leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Let's go Giants.